younger. <laughs> <laughs> so what does the, the maintenance consist of, Jim? Well, oiling around all the moving parts and greasing all the main bearings and steel valve. Quite good to just um, regularly shut it down anyway, just to make sure all the systems are working properly and the uh, standby generator are run as well, to make sure that's all in good nick. Jim, Jim Brown, um, <coughs> look after the maintenance of the hydro scheme here on Noidart. Um, it was first put in in the 1970s and the Noidart Foundation inherited the scheme when they bought the estate um, about 13 years ago now. And it was all refurbished about 10 years ago. Uh, Lead Foundation runs it as a sort of social enterprise really, providing power for the local community uh, because we're not connected to the national grid. Uh, this is our main power source for about a hundred people on the peninsula here. And we just have a standby diesel generator that's running at the moment while we've got this shut down to carry out the maintenance. And this is the original turbine? It is, yeah. Um, Jilks uh, Pelton wheel and a mechanical Woodward governor which um, basically controls the speed of the turbine to keep a constant um, 50 hertz frequency and there's an economizer which operates the spear valve here which controls the flow of water to the turbine so it's only using the amount of water that it actually needs uh, for the demand that's on the system at the time which uh, makes it quite efficient. Um, the Transmission systems through the transformer there to 11,000 volts, <coughs> overhead power lines, just as with a standard system on the national grid, uh, transformers along the line um, to bring it back down for domestic consumption. So, how big a grid is it? It's uh, about Five miles length altogether, the main overhead line. And there's 14 transformers in total on the line. And consumers pay a standard rate for their electricity? Yeah, it's comparable to mainland prices, really. Yeah. Try and keep it uh, fairly similar. Um, it had been a fair bit cheaper than mainland for a while, but then we had a couple of uh, breakdowns in succession over a couple of years, which quite often it is a bit really. Mm. Turbines off for a, um, any length of time, then the diesel bill becomes um, <laughs> quite significant. So, yeah, a bit of a raise in the prices the last couple of years. So where did the funding come from to get the system going in the first place? And the, uh, the grid I, as well, I guess, must have been very expensive. Yeah, well, it was all sort of the foundation inherited it um, as part of the estate when they bought the estate. So it, the initial installation was privately funded by the landowner at the time, mm. back in the 70s. Um, and then the... <coughs> 
refurbishment of the scheme, which involved replacing the whole pipeline, um, repairs to the dam, and overhaul of the turbine and installation of the new control panel. Um, that was grant funded through European funding, as well as um, through Scottish government. Um, we receive rocks payments on the electricity we produce, which uh, sort of tops up what we get from the bills, and that pays for the day-to-day -day maintenance really, um, sort of got program of maintenance really on the transformers and uh, keeping the infrastructure intact really. Um, yeah, the turbine and alternators rated it to produce 300 kilowatts. Um, but we're only getting 180 at the moment due to um, restriction in the pipe, which has sort of been investigated really, but we think it's um, just too small a diameter pipe um, higher up near the dam, so we're looking to replace some of the pipe work up at the dam to try and um, get full power if we can. Mm. Yeah.